One of the great things about Gunfweight Top Farm is this amazing uh, gate that Lorna's just the, just uh, opened up, so that you it, the vans are really secure and stuff overnight, and uh, also during the day, if you're out, it's like a lock an extra peace of mind. You know what I mean? Anyway, we're just off. We're gonna go and get some LPG. It's about three miles from here. I know because we couldn't get none on the way down here as you might have seen or heard me ranting about and uh, then we're going to be heading over into Lancashire just over the border into Lancashire yeah so that we can go and visit family and uh, we'll be staying at a place called Blackstone Edge CL so we'll see you on the route That was a very pleasant surprise. We've been away. We did two weeks off grid using the gas for the fridge and everything like that. We didn't use it for the heating well twice, I think, wasn't it? Well, yeah. Because it wasn't cold. Um, so we used it for the fridge and for all our cooking and stuff like that. And we still used seven pound forty-four peas worth at 7 so seven point six liters. So that's quite amazing, really. I suspect if you've got the gas fire, well, in the winter, it leads it up a lot. Yeah, more, I think you're right there. Otherwise, it's really good, really good. Yeah, can't complain at that. So I thought we were going to at least put 15 quid in them because we've got two 11 kilogram bottles. But there you go. So good news all round. Right, let's find this motorway and get over there. So just a quick word about Gunfweight Top Farm. It's a little CL in a place called Upper Denby. So they're all grass pitches, but it was rock hard. It was rock hard. It used to be the yard, apparently, yeah. the actual farm yard. Uh, so the ground was literally like really hard. But uh, yeah, really nice little CL. Uh, we parked under some trees, just had a bit of, I don't know, we fancied a bit of trees. Uh, we, were, we were hooked up. But yeah, twenty pound a night with your hook up. Absolutely brilliant, wasn't it? Lovely dog walks. Yeah, lovely dog Very walks. Beautiful. Loads of walks around there. Oh my god, I've never seen so many public footpaths in one place <laughs> going off like this and there. It's part of the Trans Pennine walk or way or trail or something. Anyway, really nice people, really helpful people that helped us out. Uh, things the pitches are a little bit unlevel, so you definitely want leveling blocks for this one, um, guys. Yeah. Uh, self leveling, as you see, we'll put a picture up. We were right up and a, a full thing, but yeah, absolutely great and uh, really nice people. And uh, if you're watching, guys, thank you for letting us stay and for all your help. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll definitely be coming back. Because uh, that's perfect for uh, visiting family this side of Huddersfield. Yeah. Now we're going to visit family in Halifax, so it would be better off around the other side. So I say this is the long way round to get to there, but I didn't fancy going through Huddersfield. We've got a bit of a problem with the tow car, as you know, which we've temporarily solved. And I'm going to try and do it properly when we get to this side because we have 10 days when we get to Blackstone Edge yeah. CL, which is in Littleborough. Is that right? Yeah, Littleborough? In Lancashire. In Lancashire, yes. But just in Lancashire, literally. So, anyway, let's see you at Summit. Well, we made it, and uh, 
yeah, it's an interesting little Seattle place. I'll take you outside and show you. So this is Blackstone Edge Seal, and it's quite close to the Hollingworth Lake and the country park. I'm presuming this is the Pennines, or, or it could be right on the edge of Saddleworth. I'm not absolutely certain, but let me spin you around. I think this will all be good. Oh, camera's hanging off the back of the Betty monster. We're still quite uh, jacked off the ground quite a bit. So we're here for um, 10 days uh, and we're going to go. We're popping over to see Mark today and the kids. And then there's a big down, down the road, about two miles down that way, there's uh, Hollingworth Lake which is quite big, so I think it's a country park as well. Saw a chippy down there. <laughs> so <laughs> fish and chips might have to be in order, but yeah, there's a big park that quite a lot of people, a lot all knew about it and have been there loads of times, so they'll all be going down to it. And uh, we're going to be meeting them there over the next few days. But uh, we'll pop into Mark's house because we've got something to deliver. And uh, yeah, cool. We're just making some palm bread things because you made a where is it where is it yeah Lorna made a beef bourguignon. It's cold and a bit congealed. Well, yeah, but we, that's for us to take over to have a meal with the family later. Lorna made that yesterday. It's lovely new day as we're just going to do some bread to go with it. You are. I want a bit to have now. <laughs> yeah, so, hello, boysy. What are you doing? You all right? Oh, yeah? Hey. Yeah, so it would be quite cosy here, actually. Okay, we decided that we needed to get some more storage boxes for the garage, so we came into Rochdale, into the range, and we thought, oh, we'd buy them. Yeah, we could get them in the car. Well, we kind of did. So, all the boxes, are there all in the back of the car and you might be saying to yourself where's the dog <laughs> where's the dog <laughs> oh thanks for that boy oh chance <laughs> poor old chance never mind eh? i can't change out a third gear <laughs> we have got really sick and tired of the way this garage is laid out in here and so we've just been out, and you probably might have seen the footage we put on. We uh, just purchased three sets of drawers and three of these boxes, mainly because that's all we could fit in. But we're going to clear this out on Sunday. It's our, uh, we're on to day three of this site here over at Littleborough. And uh, you can see this is a real mess in here. Yeah, but behind here are two big garden storage boxes. So we're having all of this out and we're going to sort it into those and the things that we don't need till next winter will be on the bottom and stuff like that. So there's no one here on this site now. They've all gone home today. Lorna's just making a coffee. So hopefully we get it sorted because every time you want something, it's in one of those big brown garden storage boxes. I thought they were a great idea at the time, but they're not at all so yeah that's our plan for this beautiful sunday uh lorna's cooking a roast and uh i'm gonna sort these out once and for all and then we've got at some point this week we need to fix the brake cable on betty here as you can see it's missing completely i pulled it right out it all frayed on the end so i can't get it back in but i think in one of them brown boxes is a spare one i'm hoping it is anyway i definitely had one but whether it's whether it fit or be the right one i don't know but we'll see that when we get to it so yeah that's our plan let's get on with it Oh, 
bass, the problem with the craft stuff is getting that sorted now. But yeah, I think we might need maybe another couple of boxes, maybe. I don't know, it's hard to say. But <laughs> it's a lot of it out here at the moment. And a, lot of, a few bits that we've decided to throw away. And really, we've only got these couple of bits on the washing machine to go back in. We managed to get rid of all of this. This is all junk. And uh, Mark's coming to pick these two up. He's going to have these for his garden. So yeah, all good. And I'll have room to actually get our chairs in and all that. That's just way better. It doesn't look it, I know. Probably to you guys thinking, what the hell? But trust me, it's so much better than dragging them two big boxes out. Um, I could have gone and bought all these boxes so they all linked up you know like the others do up there but I'll be honest with you it's like more money than what we need to do spend so those three sets of drawers and three boxes came to 80 quid but I think we've done it it's definitely a lot neater around the other side so and it's not taking too long really uh, about two two and a bit hours I suppose and we've managed to get, there's a load of stuff in the car to go to a tip. And I've got some stuff I want to give to a mate of mine for his van. All good. So, I've just got to decide, do I keep the polisher for the van? I can't work with the side. If I can get it in the roof box, I'll probably keep it. But, yeah, other than that, all good. That's it. All back in nicely and hopefully... Just them old bits to get rid of. I might as well show you around, while there's no one here, I might as well show you around Blackstone Edge CL. What an incredible view. So you've got your five pitches, and as you can see, I've got to try and step right the way back to get both of them in. The pitches are enormous. One here, two down here. These each pitch. It's got water and electric there. Drain away there. You've got a drive over point here and stuff. There's a gate that's you shut on the way in and out, just up there. This is part of the uh, business that they run. And then you've got your Elson point is below that. And if anyone knows what this is, it's constantly whirring very quietly when you get close to it you can just hear it and we know that the water and the obviously this elson goes into it so i was trying to read it and you've got another little electric thing there a uh, thing for flushing your thing out uh, first sight in six months it's got a dog waste bin uh, apart from the, oh sorry, Moffitt did have as well, but that's a, a big site. Then you've got your recycling here and stuff. Really nice. And the owner's house is just up the top there, like opposite. A uh, really nice lady. Actually came down because I took the money over yesterday to pay pay for it. And uh, because we booked 10 days, she came over today and gave us a, a day free. So, damn, fantastic. £20 a night it is, yeah? So... Thank you for that. We're going to have fish and chips from the uh, chip shop down by the uh, Hollingworth Lake there. Because apparently that is really good. There is a animal sanctuary that you can walk to. There's footpaths going all over here and stuff. Loads of walks. Um, and there's a, an entrance just up the road, just about there, to get onto that footpath. And it goes across. We've seen push bikes going across and and stuff and you can go up to the summit you can also walk to Hollingworth Lake from here it's a two and a half mile walk over the hills um, I think these are private residences these ones there's another reservoir over there there's another two that way just over there yeah it's loads pretty level I would have said we're quite jacked up but that was our fault for choosing this pitch to be honest with you happy as Larry here yeah? And the road is a bit noisy on a Sunday. 
because all the bikes meet down in uh, Littleborough. Uh, there's a pub right by the lake, and all the bikes meet there. So we've got them racing over here, but it's, you don't hear it of a night, do you, babe? We were on sort of family yesterday, and or uh, well, one part of it. We're going to see the other part tomorrow again, or baby Kiana. And uh, yeah, so we thought we this was meant to be being done Tuesday, but <laughs> as usual, we can't wait. So we went and got them today. <laughs> Poor old chance got rather squashed. We're just going to chill out for the rest of the day. It's about half past three now, isn't it? Something like that, yeah. Something yeah, like it. 24. 24. Chill out for the rest 24. of this Sunday. And uh, we'll catch up with you uh, in the morrow. On the morrow. On the morrow. I'm being impatient again. I can't wait. I'm going to go to the tip now and get rid of them bits. And then that's that done. So, yeah, let's get on down to the tip. It's in uh, Rochdale. Mm. It's a busy little place. I've got rid of all that, nice and simple, no booking. Lovely jubbly. All we've got to do now is find our way back. <laughs> Hollingworth Lake. What do you think, babe? Good, isn't it? It's very bright and sunny. Nice and lovely warm. Charles is absolutely soaked. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's a lovely place. Yeah, it's a big place. Very popular. And it's two miles down the road from our campsite. On, on the A58, just the other side of Littleborough, you come into Hollingworth. There's the horses having a paddle, and there's Millie having a paddle, <laughs> and Chance has had a paddle. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> I've done a different walk every morning, mostly on the side of the road that the campsite's on. But I've gone up the other side of the road onto a bridle path that actually takes you to Hollingworth Lake, which is nearly three miles away. But it's given the most spectacular views over Little Borough and Rochdale, stretching out into the distance. That is possibly Hollingsworth Lake there. Yeah, I think it is. We went there the other day, it's lovely. But this is just amazing. Birds, crows, all different birds I can't identify. Birds of prey, moorland birds. It's, it's just wonderful, it just fills you up. Best decision we ever made, this. Right, chance is getting impatient, so we will go on. See you later. I found my own private lake. We walked right over these hills and that. And there it is. And I'm just going to see if Charles wants to go in for a quick dip. <laughs> yeah, how nice is this? Bring Steve up here at some stage. Maybe at sunset. That'd be good. So one of the best things about Blackstone Edge CL is the amount of walks that are around here. If I spin you around like this, over here, there's the pathways going all the way up. Loads of walks that side. And then you come over this side, there's the sea hill just over there. But if you come up over this side, you got loads of walks this way, which is where we're going now.
And of course the other, the other great thing is the uh, stunning view around here. Unfortunately looking right into the sun, but it is beautiful. We've come up into the moors. Lauren's just up there, she's taking me private little lake that she's found. <laughs> now, we haven't really done much in the way of going out and exploring things. I can hear water just there. Now, we haven't done much in the way of exploring things and all that while I've been up here. It's been purely a, a family visiting time. Lorna's very own lake. <laughs> But that's a bit cold, Charles, isn't it? This isn't Saddleworth Moor, but it's very close to Saddleworth Moor, so. And that over there is uh, Wardle, which leads into Roch Rochdale. I don't know if you can see the little Union Jack just coming above this hill here ish. But that's the entrance to our site where we are. And we've got a barbecue going on tomorrow with the kids and stuff, so... Lorna's been filming when she's been out on her walks and stuff, and uh, I've been fixing Betty the car, which we've kind of done. Good. I managed to right. yeah. adapt a brake cable for the A-frame, it's, um, it's working. Sorry, I got interrupted then by a phone call from our next site from next Wednesday. Because we are touch wood, fingers crossing, we are going two nights wild camping on our way from here over to uh, Lincolnshire. We don't know where yet, obviously, because it's wild camping. We shall uh, go and give this a go. It's probably going to be a bit difficult with the car on the back and all that, but we're, we're willing to give it a go. Go on, son, you can get it. Well done, good boy. So I was just watching Chance. He's finally got in and got the sausages. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're all booked up from Wednesday for a week. Uh, and then we'll be doing some more wild camping the week after. And uh, see how that goes. Hope you enjoyed uh, parts one and two of the electricity uh, testing video, you know, for working out our solar and stuff. Uh, it might be handy for any of you guys and stuff. Had a lovely visit yesterday from uh, Kenny from Vivi Van. Um, he's got his own channel. He's a really nice guy. He came and spent the afternoon with us up here because he's about an hour away from where we are. So that was a lovely, nice one, Kenny. That was great seeing you, mate. And uh, hope you get yourself uh, and your van sorted soon. We've had a look and we've worked out what Kenny needs and stuff. So yeah, all good. Yeah, really good. So anyway, we're going to see you probably tomorrow when we have the barbecue. Because we've we got to go and look, start looking uh, on a park for night. <laughs> How much fun is this going to be? Just wanted to show you guys this sky. Yeah, they don't come out the same, in they? Beautiful, isn't it? Good morning. We're still here in Lancashire for our last couple of days and we're having a barbecue today, hence all we've got all the stuff out and stuff. We go a barbecue with the family and uh yeah it's gonna be good. It's a lovely day. Nice melon. <laughs> <laughs> We bought some more chairs while we're here because we don't know you can see this one's really held together by bits of string and so plans for when we leave here we're going off wild camping <laughs> i know that sounds a bit of an exact weird thing for us but we are we're <laughs> going to go and do a couple of lay-by nights uh in on the way over to lincolnshire just to save a bit of money so we're going to do two nights and uh and then we're booked into a site near Louth for a week, aren't we? Mm -hmm. And then we'll take it from there and probably do another couple of nights laid by camping down on the way down there. We're just trying to save a little bit of money each month. 
couple of nights here, a couple of nights there, until we uh, get to a place where there's a, a non-electric pitch. So, yeah, that's the plan. And, uh, yeah. Although, we're sitting here, and this is, like, kind of ready, and they're not coming for another eight hours. No, no. Well, Did it? Well, Something like that? <laughs> well, not till after school. Not till after school's finished, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Because us, we like to get ready and get set up well, as early as we can. Then, so. uh, all done. And, uh, so, we will see you a bit later on. I'm in charge of the onions today. We've got all the barbecue stuff done. And the broth's done for the Thai barbecue. Yeah, it's going to be fun. They should be here. They're going to light them soon. They should be here soon. For those of you who've never seen one of those before, that's a Thai barbecue. And what you do is you put the broth in there, and then when you're cooking your pork, you put it on here, and all the meat juices drip down, which Lauren is just about to go and get. It, so. Quite spicy. But very spicy. Okay. 